Adam and Eve says in Genesis 2 that they, they would take a walk with God in, in the cool breeze of the evening. Uh, now, in, in the hot Mediterranean world where this narrative was first composed, the best part of the day was the cool breeze of the evening. That's when things cooled down. And so by telling us that they would go for a stroll with Yahweh in the cool breeze of, of the day, it's just telling us that that was, that was the best part of the day. That was the highlight. And they didn't have like an agenda that they talk about on these strolls or, or you know, some kind of business they had to discuss. It was just about them enjoying each other's company. Let's go for a walk together. It's just about Adam and Eve loving and enjoying God who's loving and enjoying them. And that was the, that was the whole point. That's life in the Garden of Eden. Now, the truth is that, that is still the point. That is still the goal. Us loving and enjoying God who's loving and enjoying us Loving and enjoying him. Uh, that's, in the church tradition, they call that the beatific vision. That's the highest good. Uh, that's the goal of everything. That's the final state of things. Uh, for eternity, we'll just be in this bliss of enjoying and loving God who's enjoying and loving us. That was the goal. The whole point of everything is simply to take a stroll with God in the cool breeze of the day. Um, and, and, and so he, this is what they're enjoying. Uh, but see, for that to happen... You have to have a total trust in God's character, and you have to be free of judgments. And so the first thing, and that's why that tree is in the middle of the garden. Everything revolves around this, trusting God's character and being free of judgments. It's why the first thing that the crafty serpent goes after is Eve's picture of God. If he's going to get Eve to mistrust God and get Eve to be full of judgments, uh, he just paints this lurid picture of God. He suggests that God is not this loving God that you think he is. He doesn't have your best interest in mind. He's, a, he's a, a, a lying, petty, manipulative deity. And the only reason he's telling you not to eat of that tree is he doesn't want you to have what he's got. He doesn't want any competition. And so the serpent suggests to Eve this. Look at Eve, if you trust that deity, you are selling yourself short. If you trust that deity, you're missing out on the best thing. The best thing is right there on, on that tree. Uh, if, if, if you've been content to just walk with God in the cool breeze of the day, but it's a ruse, it's a deception. He's only doing that with you because uh, he wants to keep you from getting curious because then you might get what he's got. The serpent suggests to Eve that, that, that you can do better. You know, to be, Eve, to be all you can be, you gotta, you gotta launch out on your own. You gotta reach out and grab and you gotta take what is rightfully yours. You're not okay as you are, Eve. No, if you want to be, find your real worth and your real identity, you've got to take some action here. And see, the minute Eve believes that, she stops being a human being and she starts to become a human doing. Because now her worth and identity is going to be wrapped up not in what, who she is, but it's going to be wrapped up in what she does and what she can acquire. And that's still as true of us today as it was of Eve if you don't trust God, if you don't trust God, you end up just trusting yourself. If you don't trust what God says about you, what your worth and identity is, you end up trying to achieve your worth and identity. You stop being a human being and you start being a human doing. And so here, Eve, no longer trusting God, uh, she, she listens to the serpent's instruction. And she takes from the tree and gives it to her husband and he takes them too. And immediately the poison of that tree, the poison of the forbidden tree of the knowledge of good and evil begins to take effect. They lose their innocence. They enter into Satan's world of judgment. They enter into this world of performance reviews and, and achievement standards and uh, comparisons and evaluations. It's the tree, the world of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. 